Welcome back, friends, to the zombie apocalypse. I'm Juniper, and this is Project Zomboid. And it looks a little bit foggy today, which is a little bit disappointing. I'm going to continue reading this book to hopefully get it handled. Actually, we need to... So I can do that, is it? We need to listen to the radio this morning. I'm starting to get nervous that we have a helicopter incoming. So, uh, I would read my book while we listen to the radio here, but I don't think it'll let me. Let's see. Will, will it let me? Oh, yeah, it will. Okay, good. So, yeah, it's been quite a while since our last helicopter, and I'm just starting to get nervous that it might be in our immediate future. Some clouds. Light fog. Tomorrow, temperatures are starting to drop. Mild wind, clear skies, cloudy spells. Well, it's one or the other. Period of weather expected to start in the evening. Okay, so it's going to rain tomorrow night. We have another thunderstorm coming in five days. Anything else? Any other messages for me? All right, I guess not. We are going to leave this book for the day. We're not going to, uh, we're not going to finish this up as close as we are. I'm definitely tempted to, uh, to finish the book. However, instead of that, we are going to head back up to the mall. Being inside at the mall means that we don't have to worry about the fog and we can make some more progress. So I think that sounds like a great idea. So yeah, we'll do our, our normal drive up to the mall. And yeah, we'll do what we can to clear today. I think it's been enough time that a pretty good portion of the zombie bodies should be gone. Which means we shouldn't have to worry too much about getting sick. I just have to make sure I don't drive into a car on my way there. Just gonna bypass all these zombies for the moment. Not that interested in fighting them. Maybe if we get in there and there's still way too many dead zombies on the ground, we can come back out here and uh, clean up the parking lot, but I'm, I'm itching for some more action. We also need to eat something before we get going here. No, put the whole mushroom in. I don't want you to put most of the mushroom in. I want you to put the whole mushroom in the bowl. <laughs> uh, wish there was a setting for that. Oh, speaking of settings, here's a good tip. In one of these settings here, accessibility. Yeah, this one. This is a great setting. Resume normal speed when timed actions complete. I'd highly recommend playing with this. It's what allows me to do things like uh, speed up time while reading and have it automatically uh, have it automatically go back to normal speed time just as soon as I finish. So look at all these skeletons. Jeez, it's kind of spooky. Look at them all. They all got nothing on them. Spooky. It's eerily quiet. I'm going to go ahead and check our exit here. Make sure that there's no zombies lurking outside. So we have a, uh, a clear path out of here. I see one outside. 
Anybody else? Yeah, there's a, there's a group down here too. Take care of these guys, and then we'll uh, then we'll proceed with indoors. Last thing I want is to us as for us to close off our exit, or for the zombies to close our exit for us. It's really more realistic, anyway. Right. Thank you guys for behaving. I like it when the zombies behave. Anybody else? Okay. We are looking real good here. Ah. They were hiding. They didn't think I saw them. But I saw them. Absolutely saw them. So yeah, we're at 2,700 kills right now. Let's we'll see what we can get to today. With that uh, severe thunderstorm coming in... What did it say? Five days? So it means we have... I think that five days counts today, so... We have like four days to be ready for that severe thunderstorm. So... Hopefully, we can actually move into the mall before then. But if we don't, as we learned in our last thunderstorm, we can, uh, we can survive a thunderstorm, okay? Where? Where? Oh, you're over there? Okay. Just taking a look out outside. I hear this creepy, eerie voice. So that's the street outside. There's definitely zombies out there. I am not going to tell them that we are here, though. Because we have bigger goals. Whole huge ton of zombies up here at the front door that I am quite anxious about. And it's also possible that there's a ton of them upstairs, too. So... We're going to be real careful and cautious here. We're not going to push up too far. Couple zombies in the clothing store. Now the real test will be, did anybody hear us? Apart from, you know, these guys that I already see. That we need to be worried about. Specifically, I'm concerned that ton of zombies are about to come barreling down these escalators. But, it looks like we might be good. Oh, oh, oh my. What the heck? A bouquet of flowers? That's quite nice. That zombie brought me flowers. So we definitely have zombies triangulating on our position. I don't know how many, though. I don't hear a lot. I hear zombies, but I don't hear a lot of zombies, you know? So we're going to go ahead and stand our ground here with our trusty machete. The... What is this thing? This is the quick machete of activity. We'll try to stand our ground with that. Unless nobody else is coming. You guys coming or not? Alright, I guess they're not coming. It certainly sounds like they're coming. Alright, these guys heard me. Let's take a look behind me real quick. Looks like we're okay. What do you have in your leg there, sir? Scissors? I think it's scissors. Oh, 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 oh. Run away. That was quite scary. Do not want uh, zombies falling on my head. Which is basically what just happened. Do you have any friends? Can you tell them to hurry up and come get me so that I can move on? How are we doing on machete kills? We're at 482 katana kills and 296 machete kills. 
The machete is definitely more durable than the katana then, because we've only had the one machete. Which is interesting to see. I would have expected the uh, ancient sword to be a little bit more resilient. I think I hear zombies on the second floor. At least one. All right, we're going to push up a little bit closer to this uh, golf store, sports store. If we wanted a baseball bat, we could probably get one in there. All right, there's a fair number of them coming after me, so backing up, and there's somebody coming down the stairs. We're just going to take this nice and easy. No rush. But there's definitely a lot of bodies in this hallway still, so... I'm thinking that we can't spend the whole day fighting in this hallway. There's just quite a few zombies. More so than I anticipated, for sure. Yeah, that group at the front is still there, but it looks like they're finally starting to, to dissipate a little bit. Oh, never mind. Jeez. It's kind of scary. That is a lot of zombies. There's an awful lot of zombies. And they're all together and they're not moving. Makes me very nervous. I wonder if there's a, uh, a chunk boundary there. Could be that they're not pushing in this way because it's a chunk boundary. All these guys heard me that time. All I had to do was walk. All right, you're gonna come at me nice and slow. Give me time to uh, take care of my anxiety here. No rush, or definitely not in a rush. You're the opposite of in a rush. We have plenty of time. We have absolutely all the time we could possibly need. Check these bodies. Oh, look, maggots. This is what I was talking about. Uh, in the last episode, I said they added maggots to the game. So, yeah, those are going to show up now on zombie bodies that have been around for a while. And I think that that means that if I turn on foraging here... Yeah, so you're going to find maggots via foraging now also. I think they're actually, like, little itty-bitty icons in the game, too. It's interesting. So yeah, maggots. Don't eat the maggots. Unlike some of the other bugs, I don't believe that they are... If I don't believe there is a safe way to eat them. I think some zombies upstairs have been alerted to our presence. So we're going to back off here. I bet they're about to appear here at the stairs. Or perhaps not. Anyway. Makes me quite nervous. So we'll poke our heads here into the sports store. Somebody on the other side of that door. We're just going to let them break that door down. Definitely not going to open it. One of them found me. Definitely being pretty cautious here. Don't want any surprises. Uh oh. I think they're coming now. Oh my goodness. Oh, they, they, those are the ones that broke the door down. This is why I didn't want to break that door. Because one, two, three, four, five, like eight zombies behind that door it was not going to be a good time for me. 
if I just opened it. Would have had to have very quick loot reflexes if I didn't want to get uh, bitten before, uh, before I had a chance to run away. Two more uh, sky blue wedding dresses. Suspiciously common in the mall, as I've remarked on in the past. <laughs> Oh, the machete's taking damage. Alright. So there's an awful lot of zombies above us still that we have to deal with. This hallway has been quite scary. The last one, the hallway down uh, down over this way by the Gigamart and over in the corner of the mall, was so much more relaxing than this section of the mall. <laughs> I don't know if it's because we're further away from that huge group at the front, or if it's because there just aren't as many zombies in that section of the mall on the second floor. Really don't know. I definitely still hear zombies on the second floor. I wish they would just hurry up and get down here so that I could take care of them. This guy's got a headband and a bandana. Anybody else? Alright, starting to sound a bit quieter. Okay. That guy's going that way, that's fine. Here, maybe a couple on the second floor. All in all, it's definitely a very slow process here cleaning out the mall. Very slow. All right, let's hope there's not a whole bunch over here. Okay, so we're going to change tactics slightly, and we're going to go somewhere with just a, not quite so many zombie bodies. So I have nothing to eat. That's okay. So yeah, we're going to go around around the corner here. Attack this problem from a different angle. Here's some wacky ambient noises, but I don't think that it's a problem. Hello. Goodbye. Gonna make it real slow here. Cheerleader in the military store. This guy's got some sort of camo on. I wonder if wearing this makes your character invisible. So it's uh must be this one. Yeah, it's a ghillie suit. Gilly suit, pants, and torso. Alright. Well, that's cool. Definitely interested in that. Oh, there's a zombie with a big backpack back there. I hear zombies. Makes me nervous. feel like we're being surrounded. This one has, uh, firefighter pants. Maggots. Oh, hello. What'd you bring me in your backpack? Canned something or other? Alright, if I get a moment's break here, I will take care of this. Alright. Dirty, broken firefighter pants. A large backpack. Louisville, Louisville map? Oh, this is the whole thing. Or no, it's not. They changed this in the uh, in the patch. They made it so that the um, Louisville map, now there's like, in vanilla, there's 15 distinct chunks of Louisville. So, that's cool. We have uh, a bit more of the map now. Even though we have a mod that adds some 
additional uh, maps to the to the game. All right, I pulled like six here, probably more than I should have. Should be okay though. We gotta whittle down this group somehow. We'll back off a little bit though. So I don't want to jinx it, because the last time I found a katana was right when I said it would be really nice if I found another katana, so I'm not going to say that, because if I say that, we're definitely not going to find a katana for, you know, another 5,000 zombies or something, so I'm not saying that. What I will say, though, is that katanas are pretty cool, and if one were to show up, that would be... Uh, something that I would be interested in hearing about, however. <laughs> however. I'm not gonna ask for that. The game will punish me. Oh my god, look! There's a, another z katana zombie right there. <laughs> Alright, I need to be much more careful. I'm gonna start uh, saying the word katana over and over and over again and end up with a hundred katanas here. Let's see if we can just pull. Where did over there? Right, this will be this will be tough. I don't want to pull the whole group. Got to be real careful here. I right, got two more. Need to be nice and slow if I want to get that katana today. If I don't get it today, though, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. It should be here tomorrow. Hmm. I'm getting worried that a bunch of zombies on the second floor have found us. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of these guys and then plan my exit. Make sure I have an open exit, rather. Okay. Looks like we're clear over there. Looks like we're clear down that way. It's pretty quiet now, so... Alright. Excellent. That was good timing. Excellent job. I think all the katanas that we've found so far have been from these themed uh, Kill Bill zombies. Which is fine. I'm definitely not going to say no. But there are other other ways to get a katana. <laughs> Here are more on the second floor. But yep, we're just gonna keep slowly, ever so slowly, pulling more zombies off that door. It's the only way to do this. Keep an eye on the uh, staircase, pull them off the door. Keep an eye on the staircase, pull them off the door, etc, etc. If I were to, like, shout right now, I think every single one of these guys would see me. And, like, here, let me, I think this is a good safe point to do this. There's so many zombies there, dude. Holy cow. They're in that, in that shop on the right, too. They're just piled up on top of each other. Jeez. I've been saying that for a long time now that there's just so many zombies there, and it's still true. It's almost like they're multiplying. Okay, got some friends from the upstairs. Our corpse sickness is starting to come back in again. So yeah, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to leave here. It's also 5:30, so I'm gonna pull just a couple more, or maybe I'm gonna try to pull these guys over here just to make a little bit more progress, and then we're out of here. I think I'm pushing the uh, pushing the odds a little bit too much. We're not going to die from this level of corpse sickness, but... Oh no! Our machete broke. 
that's okay. We were done for today anyway. So that machete lasted us for 370 kills. Excellent. That's our cue to leave, though. So yeah, do a little bit of a summary when we're heading out the mall here. Our skills are looking quite good. We're getting close to uh, strength level 5, which will be very nice. Uh, nimble level 2 will also be very nice. Beyond that, uh, not too much to talk about, frankly. Um, obviously our foraging skill is through the roof. But yeah, all in all, pretty happy about this. I'm actually surprised that Shortblade is our lowest tiered um, weapon class. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. My car is over here. Um, I'm not going to go down this hallway. I am not ready for that. But yeah, I like Shortblade. Shortblade is powerful. Shortblade is good. But it is uh, not something I've done a lot with yet, so... We're going to change that, don't you worry. We'll do more with short blade. Maintenance, we're almost at level 4, which is quite good. Obviously, maintenance is, is great. I've spoken of it several times, but... Um, I think the three most important skills in the game are fitness, nimble, and maintenance. Those three skills are all hard to level up, take a long time to level up, and are very rewarding, so... Highly recommended to focus on those. Right, we are hungry. So we've gone beyond peckish. We're now hungry. Uh, we have minus 10% to our strength. Our body heat is lower, I think is what that means. And we have 10% healing. So we would heal slower right now because we're hungry. But all in all, this doesn't actually really affect our combat all that much. The minus 10 strength is uh will impact our our combat but not by a ton so yeah we're headed home i was uh definitely hoping that we weren't gonna get sick again today but there's just so many zombies in that small space so what do you expect not sure what we're going to do, though, tomorrow. I don't have any other good ideas for places to go to kill zombies that are... Uh, that are nearby or worthwhile right now, so... Actually, you know what I might do? I might basically burn tomorrow off and read some skill books and do some foraging. So, give the bodies in the mall a little bit longer to decay and uh, read some skill books, get some boosts in here, um, so we can be ready to start grinding out some skills like carpentry, for example, when we actually get into the mall. So yeah, I think that about does it for today. Thanks, friends, for joining me here today. I'm Juniver. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye now.